today we're exploring one of the most groundbreaking advancements in robotics. Female humanoid robots that are not only astonishingly lifelike, but also redefining the limits of what machines can achieve. These robots are capable of mimicking human emotions and behaviors, and some researchers are even exploring the possibility of simulating biological functions like pregnancy. But what does this mean for society? How far should we go in creating machines that look and act like us? Join us as we dive into this fascinating technological frontier, examining their current roles and future possibilities, along with the ethical and social questions they raise. Japan's unique relationship with robots. Japan has long been a leader in robotic innovation, but its fascination with robots goes far beyond practicality. Robots are often seen not just as tools, but as companions, family members, and even emotional partners. This cultural mindset has driven the development of humanoid robots that blur the line between human and machine. So why has Japan invested so heavily in this technology? The answer lies in a series of societal challenges. Aging population. With over 28% of its population aged 65 or older, Japan faces significant demands in healthcare and elder care. Declining birth rates. One of the lowest birth rates in the world has resulted in a shrinking workforce and fewer young people starting families. Social isolation. Rising loneliness, especially among the elderly and single adults, has made it harder for people to form and maintain traditional relationships. In response, Japan has turned to robotics to address these challenges. Robots now provide companionship, emotional support, and practical assistance from caregiving in nursing homes to serving as companions for single individuals. This unique societal approach has positioned Japan at the forefront of humanoid robotics. Meet the advanced female robots. One of the most significant advancements in robotics is the development of highly lifelike female humanoid robots, such as Geminoid F and Replica Q1. Geminoid F, created by Hiroshi Ishiguro, a leading robotics researcher at Osaka University, Geminoid F is designed to look and act like a real woman. She can smile, frown, and even sing, making her appear incredibly lifelike. Her subtle movements, like blinking and maintaining eye contact, are powered by over 30 actuators, tiny motors that enable realistic motion. Geminoid F has been used in stage plays and experiments where her lifelike appearance often confuses audiences into believing she is human. Replica Q. One. Going a step further, Replica Q. One features soft, elastic silicone skin that mimics the texture and elasticity of human skin. She is equipped with sensors that allow her to respond to touch, temperature, and changes in her environment. Her movements are so natural that from a distance many people cannot distinguish her from a real person. These robots aren't just machines, they are companions. Ishiguro envisions a future where robots like these can act as caregivers for the elderly, emotional partners for the lonely, and even romantic partners for those who struggle with traditional human relationships. However, this technological leap raises critical questions. Are we replacing human connection with artificial substitutes? And at what cost? Robots and Japan's birth rate crisis. While humanoid robots like Geminoid F and Replica Q1 are addressing issues of loneliness and companionship, they may inadvertently contribute to Japan's declining birth rate. Many individuals, especially younger generations, are opting for robot companions instead of pursuing romantic relationships. Robots are perceived as less complicated, more reliable, and less emotionally demanding than human relationships. Dr. Kate Devlin, a specialist in AI and human-robot relationships, 
highlights a troubling paradox. These robots are designed to reduce loneliness, but by replacing human relationships, they may deepen societal isolation. Japan's already precarious population decline could worsen as fewer people form traditional families. This trend raises critical questions about the future of human connection. If robots replace human relationships, will society lose its ability to connect on a deeper emotional level? Can robots truly feel emotions? One of the most ambitious goals in humanoid robotics is creating machines that don't just look human, but also feel human, or at least appear to. How do they mimic emotions? Robots like Geminoid F and Replica Q1 are programmed with advanced AI algorithms that analyze facial expressions, vocal tones, and body language. If you smile, they might smile back. If you seem sad, they might offer comforting gestures. But are these emotions real? In reality, robots do not experience emotions. Their responses are carefully programmed to create the illusion of empathy, the concept of robots simulating pregnancy. One of the most mind-bending ideas in robotics is the potential for female robots to simulate pregnancy. While we're far from creating robots that can biologically replicate human functions like pregnancy, researchers are exploring ways to simulate the process for various purposes. Emotional realism, adding pregnancy simulation to robots could make them feel even more lifelike, enhancing the emotional connection between them and their owners. Research and training, Simulated pregnancies could also be used in medical training or research to study prenatal care and childbirth. The future of humanoid robots. The future of humanoid robots is both exciting and uncertain. As Japan and other nations continue to innovate, these machines are becoming an integral part of daily life. Are we ready for a world where robots replace human relationships? How can we balance the benefits of robots with the need to preserve human connection? The possibilities are endless, but so are the challenges. Humanoid robots could revolutionize healthcare, companionship, and emotional support. However, they also risk isolating us further and redefining what it means to be human. As we move into this uncharted territory, we must carefully consider the ethical, social, and emotional implications of creating machines that can mimic, and perhaps one day replicate, human life. Thanks for watching. If you found this video thought-provoking, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let us know, are humanoid robots the future, or are they a step too far? See you next time.